Hello, guys and ladies. Welcome back to Audio Book. Yeah, then one, two. Read that guide to investing. Written by Robert P. Kiyosaki. Okay, now continue with me all together. So, life without major plan, they might be happy doing what they, they are doing, but they really do not know what they are missing out on. Exactly, I agree. This time, instead of just being sexual, I really had to think what I wanted to do with my life. And surprisingly, I had to explore ideas that would never have occurred to me before. Like what? Let's read that. Well, if I really want to be comfortable with my life, then I had to think about what I want to have in my life. Things like travel to faraway lands, fancy car, expensive vacation, night clothes, big houses, and so on. I really have to expand my thoughts into the future and find out what I want for my life. And what did you find out? As to be that, I found out that security was so easy because I was planning on being secure only. I did not know what true comfort mean, so security was easy. Defining comfort was more difficult, and now cannot wait to define what we mean and how I plan to achieve great wealth. That good, said we that. Very good. He continued by saying so many people have been conditioned to live below their means and save for rainy day, but they never know what could be possible for their life. So people pluck and get it to death by taking their new vacation and buying a night car, and then they feel guilty. They never take the time to figure out what it could be, be financially possible. If only they had a good financial plan, and that is a rest, that is exactly what happened. I said by meeting with advisor and discussing what was have possible, I learned a lot and learned that I was really selling myself short. In fact, I felt like I had been walking in a house with a low ceiling for a year trying to climb, save, be sexual, and live below my means now that I have a plan of what is possible related to being comfortable. I am excited about defining what the word treat means good. Said that with a smile, the key to staying young is to decide what you want to be when you grow up, and then keep growing up. Nothing is more tragic, tragic than to see people who have sold themselves short on what is possible for their life. They try to live frugally, grimping, scrimping, and saving, and they think that it's being financially smart in the reality. It is financially limiting, and it so up in the faces and their attitude in life. The older they, they, they get, most people spend their life mentally caked in financial ignorance. They begin to look like the wild lion struck in small cages at the zoo. They just pass by and thought wondering what happened to the life they were new. One of the most important discoveries people can make by taking the time to learn how the plan is finding out what is financially possible for the life and that is priceless continue planning processes will keep me young i am often asked why i spend my time building more business investing and making more money the reason is that i feel good doing it while i make a lot of money doing what i do I do it because making money keep me young and alive. You wouldn't ask a great painter to stop painting once he or she was successful. So why should I stop building businesses, investing and making more money? That is what I do just as painting is what artists do to keep their spirits young and alive, even though the body ages. So the reason you ask me to take the time to plan at different level is for me to find out what is financially possible for my life, I asked. That is, said with that. 
That is why you want to plan the more you find out what might be possible for this to make the kid call life the younger at heart, you demand. Before you plan to live for security or who say my income will go down when I retire, uh, planning for life or less, not a life or more. If a maker has created a life of unlimited uh, abandon, why should you plan on limiting yourself to having less? Maybe that is what you were taught to think, I said. And that is tragic with that reply, very tragic. Uh, with that, and I said there, my mind and heart drifted to my poor dad. I knew he was hurting and struggling to start his life over again. Many times I had sat down with him and attempted to show him a few of the things I knew about money. However, we usually got into an achievement of things. There is often that kind of breakdown in communication when two parties communicate from two different core values, one of the sexuality and the others of being with us. My dad, I love my dad, the subject of money well, and abundant was not the subject we could communicate about. Finally, I decided to let him live, live his life, and I would focus on living mine. If he ever wanted to know about money, I would let him out rather than trying to help, to help when, when my help had not been requested. He never asked, instead of trying to help him financially, I decided to just love him for his strength and not get into what I thought were his weaknesses. But to all love and respect are far more in, important than money. Mentors Chris, Alison Chris. In retrospect, my dear, my real dad had a plan only for financial security, five job security. The problem was that his plan failed when he ran for public office. Again, his boss, he failed to update his plan and continue to, to plan only for security. Luckily, he did have not his financially security um, need covered by a teacher pension, social security and Medicare. If not for those safety net, he would have been in very bad financial state. The reality was that he planned for the world of sexuality, a world of bare minimum survival, and that is what he got. My real dad, on the other hand, planned for a world of financial abandon, and that is what he achieved. But lifestyle required planning. Sadly, most people plan for a world of not enough, although parallel world of financial plenty is also possible. All it requires is a plan. So the mental attitude question is, do you have written financial plan to be? Please remember read that lesson that all three plans are important, but security and comfort still come before being read, even though being read may be your first choice. The point is that if you want to be read, you will need all three plans, and a plan be secure, a plan to be comfortable, and a plan to be read. To be comfortable, you need only two plans, and to be secure, you need only one plan. Remember that only three out of every one American are rich. More fail to have more than one plan. Many don't have any kind of written financial plan at all. Okay. So for the video, I would like to finish at this point and see you in Chapter 7, Investor Lesson 11. Each plan has a price. Okay. So thanks you guys for your listening and don't forget to subscribe in order to get more videos easily. Thank you.